Ah, nothing like a hot coffee to help you get through a cold, brisk morning. Now, I live in California in the US, and that has pretty mellow weather considering other parts of the country. But I know that at this time of the year, a lot of you guys are dealing with more rain, more snow, and just adverse weather conditions in general. And with these significant changes, I think we are overdue for an everyday carry update. Let's get into my everyday carry. What's in my pockets? for winter 2020. First off, let's get the staples out of the way. These are pieces of kit that have remained cornerstones of my everyday carry and I have not made any changes to them whatsoever. I've got the secret card slide, the Orbit Key Key Organizer, the Spyderco Para 3. Now I've done detailed in-depth explanations of each of these pieces of kit in previous videos. If you wanna check them out, I'll link them in the description below. Basically, the card slide is a great way to keep all of your credit cards lined up in one space with a little extra cargo for cash and other things. The Orbi Key Key Organizer is a great way to keep your keys organized without any jingle or noise, without any poking in the pocket, and it has a cool aesthetic and action. It flips open like this. Finally, the Spider Compare 3 is an awesome knife if you want a blade that retains its edge really well and it has a sweet and unique action with the Spider Co. Spidey Hole. Moving on. The one thing that has set 2020 apart from previous years is the coronavirus. I always make sure I have at the very least a clean mask and hand sanitizer on my person whenever I leave the house. If you wanna see a full breakdown on my COVID protection gear and best practices I've adopted to stay safe from COVID, I'll go ahead and link that video right here. Okay, the first measure I have to combat the cold is the Zippo hand warmer. Now these things are perfect for people like me who run a little colder and find that their hands are often frigid even though the rest of their body is relatively warm. The cool things about this is that it's made of a durable metal construction. It comes apart like this so that you can easily fill it with lighter fluid and light the burner. And finally, it keeps your hands warm for up to 12 hours. This thing has a long runtime. Using the fumes of the lighter fluid, it keeps embers within the burner lit and that's where the warmth comes from. There's actually no flame in this one, so it ups the safety without sacrificing that warmth. It comes with a little spout to make sure you don't spill any lighter fluid all around you when you're filling it up, and a little warming bag so that you don't come into direct contact with the metal surface when you're holding it. I have some Zippo lighter fluid in my expanded kit, so I make sure I always have some lighter fluid to fill up both the hand warmer and the lighter. Gotta have a lighter to light your hand warmer. The next thing I've incorporated into my everyday carry since we last talked is the GA2100 G-Shock watch. Now what's cool about this is that it's incorporating something they call the carbon core guard into its case. Basically, it's a stronger material that allows it to have a slimmer form factor without sacrificing structural integrity. I got the all matte black version, but I have no problem seeing the indices and the hands because it glows really brightly once it gets some photons in there. Is it photons? It marries the classic look of an analog face with the enhanced functionality of a digital interface. It's got a stopwatch, world clock, date, alarm, you name it. And it also has two lighting modes to make sure that you can see your watch until the time at night. All in all, a sleek and subtle minimalist option in the world of G-Shocks. Also, I replaced the strap with a cool Fidlock magnetic closure. That way you don't have to worry about dealing with straps and fiddling with it, you just snap it shut. And it's pretty damn secure. Ugh. Yeah. Okay, next up. You've seen it on the channel before, but here it is. This is my new smartphone, the Samsung S20 FE 5G. And I won't get into too much detail because this isn't a tech review channel, but basically this phone is a mid-tier phone with flagship features. It's got the latest Snapdragon 865 processor. It's got a full HD display that's six inches in diagonal and has a 120 Hertz refresh rate. It's got a big battery and a dope set of cameras. 
These features are important to me because as a digital creative, I often find myself taking pictures on the fly and editing them in Lightroom. So it gets maximum usage out of that fast processor. It doesn't hurt to have that beautiful display and a longer lasting battery to get me through the day. Aside from creative content, I use it for tasking such as email, calendar, and staying productive and on task with the Notion note-taking app. I rock this thing with the Caseology Parallax case, as well as uh, some tempered glass on both the front and on the camera module. A Gerber shard with an adjustable paracord strap. Now who doesn't want a little multi-tool that's capable of at least 21 different functions in their toolkit? Peep the video. The Coast G19 flashlight. It is an inspection pen light, so it's good for close up, small day to day tasks in the dark. It has a relatively low lumen output of 54 lumens, but it's more than adequate for those small everyday tasks. It's also a pocket size, so it's good for an everyday carry, and it takes only one AAA battery. I love the fact that it takes a very common battery and you don't have to look for a specific, you know, harder to find battery like the CR120 Brie A or a very various, you know, what are those called? Uh, button batteries. So you don't have to look for those button batteries at a specific store. You can run into any 7-Eleven or hardware store and definitely find batteries to power this one. Uh, it's impact and water resistant. I harvested this from a different kit. Normally it sits in my daily bag toolkit. Sneak peek, make sure you hit that notification bell to catch the full breakdown of that toolkit as soon as the video drops. I am in the market for a new flashlight that has a higher output and more adequate for, you know, emergency situations or roadside situations. Um, I've heard good things about the Surefire Tactician. If you guys have any recommendations, definitely drop them in the comments below. The G19 is definitely good as sort of a budget entry-level flashlight that you can keep on you for specific uses. It clocks in at around 10 bucks US, so super cheap, affordable, and it's a solid build. It usually comprises of a slouch back beanie to keep my bald head warm and a pair of wool gloves just to aid in keeping my cold hands warm. It's, it's a struggle. Having cold hands just is bad news all around. So between the hand warmer and the gloves, I'm good to go most of the time. As a bonus, I carry a challenge coin. Now, some say this might be unnecessary, but some decisions are best left to lady luck. And that is my updated everyday carry. What's in my pockets for winter 2020. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys got something useful out of it. As you can see, it is definitely catering to colder climate conditions, but it is by no means an end all be all. If you guys are living in more severe conditions, definitely carry extra, get a quilted jacket, base layers, whatever you need to stay warm, stay toasty, to get the job done. If you enjoyed this one, let me know by hitting that like button. Comment below to make sure you engage with our larger everyday carry community that we have on this channel. And until next time, live with purpose. Peace.